Yeah. Hey, friends. It's Thursday night. Or afternoon. Depending on your location. Or morning. Or evening. I guess night and evening are kind of the same thing. Anyways, hi. Hi, Ron. How are you doing today? Yes, we must say hi to all of them. We have Hypnoforg. Uh, wait. Hypnoforg. We have Mushroomforg. We have Redforg. We have Kingblueforg. We have Fireforg. We have Astroforg. Oh, we have King Redforg. Missing someone. I was King Green Forg, Ice Forg. Oh, and Toad. Todd the Toad. Where is where is Basic Green Forg? I feel like he's gotten away. Oh, there he is. He was just hanging out with the Calgarians. Okay, I think that's all of them. I think that's all my children. Hope none have been lost. Ooh. I really wanted to get more videos out this week, but I finally got a video out today, and it makes me happy. Also, you're going to change the music. Quiet to me. Oh, that's why. Headphones are really low. Oh. Oh, I'm sleepy for some reason. I don't know why I'm saying for some reason. I had four hours sleep last night and then I had a two hour nap. That's why I'm sleepy. There's a very obvious and good reason for it. Oh. Uh. Up there. No nap stream, no. I'm gonna throw out a ton of random omens. No, that's the other thing. Uh, embers, just because, holy fuck, do I have too many of them. I have, well, like, 15 of them not in here because they just do not fit. Why did they make the Necropolis Locker so fucking small? Like, what... <laughs> What possessed them to be like, oh, well, people don't really farm anything in this game. So obviously, what is it, 8, 16, 32 slots is enough? Except for, I don't think you put anything in the last slot, so I think it's 31 slots. So that's great. Yeah, that makes, that totally makes sense. Let's totally do that. Not all fucking mind! Good thing that most people don't play very much, and no one has thousands of hours in the game, and no one does things. I don't know. I'm gonna do some basic warm up maps before we actually get into anything. 
Whoa, fuck. Okay. Let's try that again. What? What just happened? I think it's because I walked in there and was doing no damage because my automation was off. So my mines weren't activating. I guess I forget how how reliant I am on actually dealing damage to survive. Oh, we're going to get a chance to try out something that we set up last stream, too. Actually, how is the sound balance right now? I feel like the music's really loud, but that might just be how I've set it up for my brain. Ow! Oh my god! Which of the first lot of ones? No, they just suck. Okay. What did we get anyway. Oh yeah, we uh, got something interesting, or we set up something interesting last stream, and I am kind of uh, excited to see how it works. So basically what we did is, any time that we use our health flask now, I automatically take a screenshot. And the benefit of that is that I actually will ever have thumbnails for videos. Because it takes, like, action shots in interesting moments. Ooh, contains the name of Seer. That's worth. Anyways, we might actually see some kind of cool screenshots from that then. That'll work out to be cool thumbnails. Matters for way less for y'all than it does for me, but... For me, it matters a lot. How much is the Scarab of Vision? 30C-ish. Bad. Wait. Why are we seeing Einhar? What Al- what Alstra am I on? I'm on the main one. How am I seeing Al- how am I seeing Einhar then? Is it just a random chance? I guess there's like a base chance to see the... The... What are they technically called? We just call them the Masters, but like... There's like this... They have a full title, I think. They used to be the Forgotten Masters, but I think they were different. That was even before my time in this game. I haven't actually played very long in the grand scheme of how old this game is. Like, I started seriously playing this game when Legion came out. And that wasn't actually all that long ago by relation to how long this game has been around. I think this is like a 2010, 2011, 2012 game. Obviously, they've iterated on it since, but... A good fucking question. I don't know how many years I've been playing. I will check... I'll check something in a moment, and I might be able to find out.
Okay, so... I started, uh... Ser like, I, start I started seriously playing in Legion, but, like, I technically started in the League before, but I was near the end of it, I think. Pewee Legion. Legion League. So, that'd be early 2019. That'd be early 2019. The first time I picked up the game was, like, 2016, but or 2017, but I stopped playing very soon after. Like, I only got to, like, Act 2 and stopped. I guess I got busy. Who the fuck knows? So I've been playing this game for half a decade. Roughly. And the game was released... At some point. Uh... Path of Exile story page. It was released in 2013. So, I started playing the game... I started notably playing the game six years after it launched. And that was five years ago, so it's been around for about 11 years now. Weird to think that this has been half a decade of my life. I would have been near the end of my Guild Wars time, probably. really wants to do that. I like both. Huh? Be honest. Give me, yeah, give me some stuff. Some num num. Man, when did I start, stop playing Yo Wars then? Yo Wars 2. I always say Guild Wars, because Guild Wars 2 was the only Guild Wars that I ever really knew or cared about. Though I know a lot of people, when they hear Guild Wars, they think of Guild Wars, the original Guild Wars, not the second one. That was around probably as long, if not longer, than Path of Exile. A lot of people really loved that game. I'm sure I would have too if I had started when it was in its height. It's very hard to go back to games like that if you don't have nostalgia, though. Oh, wait, I should do the... Good time of day, everyone. <laughs> Welcome, Pyro. We're just doing some warm-up maps. Did I ask how everyone's doing? If not, I meant to. I hope everyone's doing well. I have some plans today. Nothing too complicated, but a little bit. Initially... I was er, initially I was talking about what my plans for the stream were 
immediately upon starting it. But I think I'm just going to enjoy, like, doing some starter maps first. Then we can talk about that. Give some time for people to actually get here. Let me take a wild, wild guess and say that's the, that's the minion ring whose name I should really know but can't remember. Oh, it's Time Clasp. Never mind. Time Clasp is never anything, right? Yeah, it isn't. Another one of those uniques that I wish was... I really gotta stop standing where those things land. Before I run out of portals to this map. Well, it is a test map for not for or a warm-up map for it's not a warm-up map for nothing. Why did I have to have so many double negatives in there? But I don't wonder if it's time to call it on my headhunter. Because why I like my headhunter, there are certainly stronger things I could have in that slot potentially. And not like like damage stronger, but like reliable defenses stronger. Work's been paying, but I got a new code book. A code book? What, what is a code book? I'm intrigued. What's the saying? Intrigued, terrified, and moderately aroused? Actually, that might not be a saying. That might just be something from my head. When I think code book, I think of, uh, oh, like a book on coding. Okay. I was thinking like, uh, like ciphers for geocaching or some shit like that. Okay, I used two embers in that map, and I got... Or, I used three embers in that map, and I got two back. Which is why I need to use more embers. Oh, I threw, like... I don't know how many... How many, uh, things fit into this tab. How many uh, coffins fit in this tab? But this entire tab worth of coffins, this entire tab worth of coffins, and another tab this size worth of coffins, I threw into making some grave crafts just because they weren't selling for anything. So I was like, well, I might as well try to make something out of it. I filled up the entire graveyard and I made this, which has a good implicit. It has tier one evasion energy shield. Tier 2 Evasion Energy Shield, Tier 5 Life, Max Roll to Tier 1 Int, Tier 1 Cold, and Tier 3 Lightning on a 6 link. It has almost 1600 Evasion Rating and 400 Energy Shield, which is pretty fucking good for an Evasion Energy Shield base, because a, like, super extremely good, um, 
energy shield pure is like 600 energy shield. Like a good energy shield chest plate is like 450. So the fact that a mixed base is that high is really cool. There was not very much to actually match it against though, so I just put it up for 20 divine, but I don't know what it's worth really. It's, it'll make some builds very happy. If this was like the start of the league, or not as the start, but like before this point, that would definitely have been like my chess piece for sure. Because. Oh, right. Pyroclast doesn't have duration. I'm thinking of Firestorm. Um, if I was doing Firestorm mines, I would. That would be my chess piece. Because Firestorm, like Pyroclast, likes gem levels. Blow up the pots, blow up the pots, blow up the pots. Let's bank that pot. And other things that are not advertiser friendly to say. <laughs> it's probably not even remotely worth it to break all these pots, but I find it so satisfying, which is why I do it anyways. But it's like watching them all blow up. Wait, have I ever done this? All oh, right, I finished my atlas. Oh, yeah, that's for the that's for Uber Cirrus. I assume you can't quality these, right? No. Well, that's interesting. So I'm looking at this right now. Apparently, they're 5C apiece. That's actually amazing. The reason why I say it's amazing is that that means that if you want to just fuck around fighting Cirrus and, like, get a concept of his abilities and learn his mechanics, it's now the most reasonable it has ever been to do so. You don't have to win. It's 5C. Not that big a deal. I mean, you get one good drop from it, and you could... <laughs> one good drop is enough that you could waste... What? hundred of them? Especially more? I mean, Oriath's End is 3.5 div, apparently. The Savior's over 6 div. And Relic Work Keys are good, and Awakened Gems are good. So... That is really, really cool. It's cool to see stuff like that be cheap. Because that stuff is extremely hard content, and the chance to actually fucking practice it with very minimal penalty is really nice. Usually it's super fucking expensive to, to test. Which is... a problem with this game, in my opinion. I really, really wish there was a version of this where you could open the boss fights more or less for free, like the Cirrus or the Shaper or whatever, and you get no rewards or XP for doing the fight, but it doesn't cost you anything to open. Just, like, complete and total training match. I would love that. A lot, of these a lot of these fights have mechanics that you need to learn. You need to actually learn them, and you need to play them to learn them. Not just watch a guide or read a guide.
like people might not be aware that depending where Sirius is in his arena, he you can walk out into his arena and get off screens within seconds from his beam before you even have a chance to see him. If you slow down. Like as soon as you're in his in his arena, you're probably in his range. You won't find that out until you, that happens to you. Or happens to you like 20 times. God, I hate Sirius. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I'm i getting the sense that GGG is changing their view on a lot of things. Because, like, they made the announcement that they were going to have a uh, raid. Uh, like, a auction house, basically, in PoE 2. Because they don't believe that a modern game is... They don't believe the community would accept a modern game without that. That, that was their reasoning. And... I appreciate the fact that they're starting to get pushed into actually putting modern features into their games. Well, okay, I say modern features, but considering that World of Warcraft launched with an auction house, and this is oh, this is this is younger than World of Warcraft. It's not that it's not that far fetched. <laughs> I mean, Guild Wars Two was twenty sixteen, I I believe, and it launched with an auction house. It didn't work for like three months, but it did launch with an auction house. Go Wars 2, when did you launch? Go Wars 2 is on Steam. Oh, it was released on Steam in 2020. I don't think that's when it was. When was it? When was Go Wars 2 released? Released? Oh, wow. So, I'm just looking at the Wikipedia right now. Heart of Thorns, which was the first expansion to Guild Wars 2, was 2015. So, two years after PoE launch. So, this launched around the same time as PoE, and it had an auction house as well. Which means that they have no excuse. Oh yeah, no, price fixing would wouldn't would be impossible with uh with an automated system, absolutely. Price fixing would be gone, botting would be erased, like there's no there's no point for most of the bots that exist in the game, purely based on that. Like there's so many things that they could just problems they could just solve with a snap of their fingers. Doing that. And that's not to say that it wouldn't cost significant development time. And work to do that, to actually put an auction house into the game, but considering how much time and effort they put into everything else, they could spend a lot less time trying to fix their bot problem and a lot more time trying to make an auction house to fix their bot problem. What do these things call? I'm gonna look up I'll look up what these fragments like cost what I want to see what each different one okay it's not a fragment but then an invitation I don't think it'd be an invitation Okay. Awakening. Fragment. It's currency. Okay, that's weird. It's in the it's it's in the fragment tab, but okay. Oh, so Cirrus's is the cheapest. Oh, okay, okay, that makes more sense.
Okay, so reality fragments, which I assume are are the Maven, are two hundred. Uh, Devouring, which I assume is the Eater of Worlds, is one hundred twenty. Decaying, which I assume is the Elder, is seventy. Blazing, which I can assume is the Searing Exarch, is thirty five. Synthesis, which is the Cortex boss, is twelve. And Cosmic, which I can only assume is the Shaper, is ten. They have all dropped in price recently. Not entirely gone, as in theory, you could have a pair of buy slash list spots that go back and forth between each other. Oh, I guess that's fair. Yeah, I mean, at that point, that's why auction houses have like a 1 or 2% uh, fee, so that if you are just trading things between accounts, you're going to lose some. I think I would take a 20% fee in exchange for having an automated auction house. Maybe even a 25%, honestly, which is an obscene amount. But that's how much I care about having an auction house. Oh, also, I did one I did one minor thing to update the build. I forgot to I haven't said that yet. I made my Divinarius white socketed, which might not seem important, except Where is it? Oh, it's probably in my alt. Okay, here it is. So if I need to, sw if I want to swap out flammability for punishment to be able to do more damage to something, I can absolutely just swap them whenever. Because punishment will do better damage when something's below fifty percent life than, uh, than flammability will do, just generally. Actually, I haven't run the numbers on that, come to think of it. I'm just guessing based on that usually being the case. Okay, 12 million with flammability. What does punishment not do anything? Am I wrong? Oh, right. I have to set the enemy to low life. Okay. Punishment's not better damage. What? It's ever so slightly less damage. What? Okay, that surprises me. Technic. Mm, I say technically, punishment's better because it can debilitate, but flammability can give me the ignite chance, which I need for other things. Maybe I actually don't need that. Well, that's something to think about for later. Okay, so one of the things that I want to do first, now that we're getting into the stream here, is... Up. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it up. I'll work for the baby. There we go. So this is craft of XL here. Uh, we need to craft an item. So we're looking at heist beer, heist beer, heist gear right now. Specifically, the uh, spell casting is the burst band. 
And the reason we're looking at this is because we can get some extra damage out of Huck that we are not, do not currently have. Or we could also get some protection. So what we're going to do is we are going to pick up fire damage on a burst band for Huck. Because he pops out of my smuggler's caches whenever I use them. And we're going to pick level 15 Zealotry. Because Zealotry gives me like 3 million extra damage. So this is what we're looking at right now. A lot of augmentations and alterations and so on. But only about 150 chaos work, so it's not that bad. It's only a div. Though I do ideally want to get a higher tier than tier 4 with uh, fire damage, but I mean, the zealotry is the most important thing. But we are going to try to craft this now. Because this will help a whole bunch with the tier 17 problem we're having. With just tier 17's being rough. Help it make it a little, this will make it a little bit easier. Go back to the game. Okay. So we have a conduit line here. This is the level 3 version, because Hawk caps out at level 3. Uh, for all of his abilities. He is, uh... He is uh, level 3 of 5 for... 4 different heist abilities, and that determines which uh, level of... Tool they can use. Or level of gear they can use. Gear? It's a gear. There's gear, and there's tools, and there's equipment, and they're all different. It's... it's... Anyways, we... are going to make something interesting. The most important modifier for us to look for right now is that. <laughs> yeah, okay, so the most important modifier to look for right now is that. Uh... Physical damage. I want to just call it. That's tier three. Yeah, I got money in time. Okay, like. So what we're looking for is we're looking to get a suffix, which is Delatry tier fifteen or level fifteen. And uh, doesn't really matter what the prefix is. It just matters that we get our delatry. So if we get like jobs like 20% job speed and level 15 discipline or something like that, we're probably going to keep that and roll a new one. Okay, there's tier three fire. Not with purity. We want level 15 zealotry specifically because that's the highest level we can get, and anything below that sucks. If we hit tier 1 fire, we should probably regal it to see if we can... Oh! Tier 2 physical, tier 1 zealotry. Okay. Roll. So, it has two suffixes now, and one prefix. So, I can roll another prefix, which means that I can roll... I just glance back at Craft of Exile here. My options are either I can now roll cold damage, lightning damage, fire damage, increased damage, 
Job XP, job speed, spell damage, or time before lockdown. So I have a... One in eight chance of getting what I want. That's tier four lightning. Not sure actually how much it matters having having fire specifically, but I mean, I mean, if I'm gonna make something, I might as well make it well, not just settle for something. Not with, not at this point in the league. I can afford to make something better. There's tier one discipline. And tier three fire. Only roll one aura. So that blocks Delatry. Should actually have picked up some uh, some uh, annulments so I can erase things. Eh. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Ooh, tier one job speed and tier one wrath. That makes me want to at least check the price. Hey, it doesn't exist. Seriously? What am I missing? Oh, there's only four tier one wraths on the market. That's why. It's actually like really good if you're lightning build. And there's fire damage. Tier four fire, but it is fire damage. Good chance. I'm half tempted to keep that and sell it, but I'll, honestly, I don't know if things are going to sell at this point in the league. Yeah, that was a waste, but whatever. Your one cold and malicious. Tier 3 Cold and Wrath. If I get Tier 1 Lightning Damage and, and Tier 1 Wrath, I will consider selling it. But unless I get that, go off. I could also just go for tier 15 zealotry and not worry about, or level 15 zealotry tier 1 and not worry about it, but I think it's a nice. Much? I wonder how much it would cost to roll fire on Porter Crafting Bench. 
fifty a piece. That's like how much are wild ice life for? Eighty? Eighty to one C? Seventy five to one C? So it's 2C per 3 crafts. Okay, that's actually not that bad if I want to roll fire specifically. Okay. And zealotry? No. Oh. Well, there's fire and zealotry, but it's only tier three zealotry. Yeah, tier three zealotry. And there's no just roll aura. not trying to roll one of the other modifiers as a suffix, because if I just rolled an aura, I could cut out half of the suffixes you can get. As I roll past prefixes, it makes me sick. When there's just like single prefixes like this, that's a tier one fire. I'd be able to. Not oh, wrath. Prefix. I want to take any chances I can get to get tier, a tier three zealotry or tier one zealotry. I should just say level fifteen zealotry. That that's easy. Any chances I can get to get level 15 is that I want to get. Rolled past another prefix that I want. <laughs> Throwing lightning and tier 2 zealotry. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm. Lightning. The first time I think this is the first time I've actually tried crafting on. I don't know if this is interesting content. I mean, it's probably just some nice chill content if you just hang out. I don't know. I figured it might be interesting for people to watch how I do crafting. Still might care. Crafting is a bit of a mystery. In no. Crafting is a bit of a mystery in this game all the time. It's needlessly complicated. Thanks, Spyro. Have a good sleep. Quick, the mods are gone. Uh, tier 1 fire and tier 1 malevolence. No. It's actually not bad if you do an ignite build. It's actually really good if you do an ignite build. Ooh, tier 1 discipline.
Ooh, there's a tier 15 zealotry right there. Nope. Darn. Be about getting some augmentation, or not augmentations, annulments. Because getting some annulments would be worth it. I don't think annulments are worth very much either, so. And 20 for 85, that's not bad. I like 5 save. To check at some point how much a mage blood is worth. So then why because I want to upgrade my my headhunter to something else. And a mage blood would be a very easy pick. I mean I can go for another for a rare, and that might even be a better plan, but Mage Bloods start at fifty. Those are corrupted. Also, I want specifically something. I want the uh, plus four mage bloods, or the uh, the four flask mage bloods, not the two or three flask one. Being like about eighty-seven. Oh, I have eighty-seven. <laughs> Hmm, I could actually go buy a mage blood whenever I want. Benefits of mage blood for who those who are not familiar are that it is a belt that allows your flasks to always be active. Wait, why do I have an amethyst flask, actually? I just realized this. Hold on. I don't need an amethyst flask for any damn reason. I have. 109% Chaos Res. <laughs> this is completely useless to me, except for the uh, curse re reduction. This is also an almost perfect flask, too. That's actually an amazing flask. Yeah, this is worth, like, a couple to mine. I should replace that with something that's not that. Oh, I guess I could do a granite flask, which would give me a bunch of armor. Or, what's my spell suppression? 70% and it's lucky. Okay, my spell suppression is 70% lucky, which, according to Path of Building, is 86. If I get a... rather than a granite flask, if I get a quartz flask... Any quartz flask laying around? I don't. And there's also a Stibonite, but I don't think I need a Stibonite. I think I have enough evasion rating. <laughs> if I get a Quartz Flask, it'll give me 10% increased... 10% uh, increased spell suppression and phasing. And phasing would be really nice, because that means I can just walk through enemies. We'll look into that in a moment. Uh, it hit the only modifier I didn't want to hit. Okay, well, that just bricked it. Pretty 
three. Uh, I'm wondering if having discipline would be better than zealotry, but honestly, I feel like three million extra DPS is probably more fucking important, because that means that I can just kill things that much faster. It's like a 20% damage increase, or 25%. It's actually, like, pretty fucking significant. So I think I'm going to go with zealotry for that reason. Fire. Oh. If I get tier... Oh, that's exactly what I'm looking for, but the wrong tiers. The tier 1 zealotry is irreplaceable. I can't just pick something else. Tier one job speed. Not for this. I'm crafting Huck specifically to use in maps. I also don't know how. Huck's other gear affects the, uh, affects him in maps. I don't know if his, any, any of his other gear does anything. I assume it doesn't. I just rolled past a, a tier 1 zealotry. God damn it. This is why I need to focus. Like, my, like, your eyes start to blur after you do this hundreds of times. Very easy to roll past things that are important. There's tier 2 zealotry and fire. This is this is brusher patrol, isn't it? Thing. Oh, this has been the breaker. I I need to play Bastion at some point. Then y'all can actually listen to the soundtrack in the game. Plus, the lore of Bastion is amazing. I don't remember who the breakers were. They correspond with one of the weapons. Math. Oh, your 15 zealotry. Suffix. Lightning. I need to hit one of the suffixes. I have a 75. I have a 25% chance of breaking this. Okay, that was bad. I didn't want to lose the suffix. Okay, I have a 33% chance of breaking this. Cool. I'm good. Mana regen. Uh... I mean, it's tier 1 zealotry and tier 2 lightning. That's not bad. 
Let me grab some more salted orbs and add another suffix and see what it turns out to be. Because if we can get two damage suffix or two uh, two uh, damage prefix on here, then I'll take that over over fire, regardless what it is. Oh, this is a big hideout. I haven't seen this one before. This is the Trial of the Ancestor. All of the Ancestors. Oh, you get the entire Hall of Ancestors too with it. I think I'd rather be in this... Tier 2, Lightning. Tier 4, Fire. Tier 1, Zealotry. Tier 2, Mana Regen. That actually is a really, really good pull. Yeah, that's really, really good. I'm going to pick that. Okay, well, Huck is a lot stronger now. Or, more importantly, Huck is going to buff me a lot now, as long as I'm near him. Crafted the perfect conduit line. Get rid of his old uh, little bit of regen and tier 2 determination for tier 2 lightning, tier 4 fire, tier 1 zealotry, and tier 2 mana regen. <laughs> that is, there is no dead prefixes or suffixes on there. Those are all, those are all good explicit. That's perfect. Then the brooches are useless. This. I've been wondering if uh, the uh, players deal damage, uh, increased damage with hits against enemies on full life, it works in maps, because it doesn't say anything about lockdown or anything, or ice or anything. But, the tier 2. Well, let's glance. No? Why is it coming up on my preview and not coming up on what I'm actually doing? Okay, going back to PoE then. Right, well, I'll just do this off screen. So that is a heist cloak. What can we roll? We can roll. The only one in the prefixes that looks useful is the damage with hits against enemies on full life. And the rest are completely useless for me. I want at least an item level 81. No, I want an item level 83 because then I have a chance to roll, chance to not activate lockdown on Grand Heist. 
Though I don't really care too much about that right now, but whatever. Okay, so we are going to get a cloak. You can use a tattered cloak. Because if we roll a uh, chance not to activate lockdown, then that will be worth it. So sell. We 100% want to sell that. That we roll that, so absolutely worth it, so. Okay, uh, or there. It's very unlikely that we'll roll the uh, chance to not start lockdown, but if we do roll it, it's worth a lot of money. So it's better to invest a bit extra into making sure that I have the item level to potentially get that than it is to just get something a little bit cheaper just for the sake of uh, not having to deal with it. Technically, it's easier to roll what we're looking for without having a higher higher item level. But I, I think it's worth the chance that we might get something crazy. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, that's what we want, but I want to get a tier one because, I mean, it's better. But also, we're only looking for one modifier. So getting a tier one on da damage with hits against enemies in full life should be pretty easy. Relatively. Eventual area is not in lockdown. Nope, not that. Looking for a prefix. That prefix, but nope, there it is. Oh yeah, that's a max rolled one. That is a max rolled tier one. Firing fee, reduced traveling fee, and uh, is there any other prefixes I could roll that would matter? No, so it's not worth things altered or cool. So we also We're also going to look at what is it? Gear? Heist, cloak, gear? No, this was gear. No, gear is the uh, gear's the one with the aura on it, the, the thing. Tools. Okay, yeah, it's a tool. Is there anything that we could roll that would even be remotely useful? Nope, not even a movement speed for Huck. Actually, I would love uh, increased movement speed for Huck. That'd be good because you want him to be as in range of you as possible. And making sure that he's in range means that you always have uh, your buffs on you. There's also the increased movement speed while area is not in lockdown, but I, I assume that does not work if you are doing this in a map. The damage on full life one is the only one that doesn't have a specific thing. Slightly better. Okay. That have an open slot.
Up speed's better. Speed's better. Better. Okay. What tier? What is it? I don't know. 73. Okay. I don't need that. Okay, so Huck is as good as he can probably be now. Or what we want him to be. So we have the... We have all the damage we want on him. And we have... On his weapon. And we have a little bit of damage on his cloak. That's, I think, the only things we can get on him that actually affect maps. And we don't really need the... Approach? Oh, well, no one else. Okay, no one else needs it. Cool. Okay, so... Wish... Really wish I could show y'all what Craft of Exiles is doing, but for some reason it's like no, you, you have, why could why would you show that? Why would you actually have something useful? Can I can I show you Chrome? These six. Can I can I show plicks? Plicks shows plicks. There we go. In the ends of the ads aren't there. Okay, so what we need now, thing is we have a useless amethyst flask. We are going to make a quartz flask. Is there anything else here that we really, really, really need? Oh, I have a quicksilver. I have a jade. I have other things. Oh, yeah, we have a uh, diamond. I mean, I could have yeah. sulfur flask for more damage. But quartz is a lot safer for Okay. So this might matter, it might matter how, like, which, whether I'm going to be using a mage blood or not, because I would be crafting a different flask if I'm using a mage blood, because if I'm using a mage blood, I would be using increased efficiency, or increased effect of any tier. Uh, I already have evasion rating. Fast speed doesn't really matter. I have movement. You have movement speed, right? That's not, not crazy. I don't. Why don't I have movement speed? Oh, because I rolled tier 1 block and stun recovery, which is not actually that bad. Yeah, I rolled two tier one modifiers, so I kept it. I would want to re-roll my diamond flask. I'd want to completely redo my flasks, I think, if I if I go the
Wait, if you pick one of the immunity options, does that mean you just get immunity to that thing forever? If you're using Mage Blood? I've only used the Mage Blood like once before. Only for a very short amount of time, so I don't really know how they work. Honestly, the first effect production might be valuable. Take too long. Wait, where is the curse effect? That again. So I need I'm level 84 for that. And if I'm doing this without a mage blood, I'm gonna want last charge on crit. Requires eight. Or tier wait. No. I'm level 80, that's what I'm gonna say. I'm level 80, I don't level 80. Okay. Until I figure out what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave a lot of this off off camera, I think. And we're just gonna go play as is for now. I'm just trying to decide if it's worth it to just pick up a basic phasing flask right now. Okay, hold on a second. Quartz flask. I'm just going to pick up a flask charge on crit, quartz flask, not to be a good one, something basic, don't worry about actually crafting it into something later. Oh, I can just pick up an iron level 84 for, oh, I guess I'll do that. Eh, I mean, that's not amazing, but it's not a problem either. Do Savage Hit, and replace. Put my... My awesome Chaos Res Flash. I also have this one. Oh yeah, my last Amethyst Flask had uh move it. Probably sell that, seeing as it's decent. Alright. Anyways. We can put all of that aside now. Well, so that was one of the main things I wanted to do, is I wanted to upgrade Huck, so that I know that I will be protected. Just because I want to make sure that I have a little bit of extra damage when I need it. Oh, I forgot. Let's change that. Okay. Okay. 
I really do like the max life I have on this and the strength and dex and stuff, but yeah, I def I definitely think I need to change this out for something. Never thought there would be a point where I would use a headhunter so much in a league that I'd want to swap it for something else. This feels weird to me. But I mean we are. Okay, what do we have to play with today? We have an augmented distant memory. Yeah, we still have a sanctuary map. Have we done sanctuary? What if we've done sanctuary? One sanctuary. <laughs> I want to know because that's very important. Huey Sanctuary. Nope, that's an ascendancy passive. Map. Nightmare of Lycia. Okay, this is we have done we've done the sanctuary map then. Under Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I can't use Purpose of Horizon on it. I think I wanna try Sanctuary again yet. So uh, now, so I've completed. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why it doesn't. I guess it just doesn't show when you complete something. So I've completed sanctuary. I tried abomination. I tried ziggurat. I think. I know I tried abomination. I don't remember which one the other three I tried. Citadel man. Citadel. Citadel is. Oh no! I did Citadel before. Citadel is the one I beat because it was Utred. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was Utred, and then Abomination was the one I failed. Because that was that was the depraved trinity. Oh, so okay, I haven't fought the Lycia one. I was confusing Utred and Lycia. Utred is the expedition boss. Lycia is the uh, the sanctum boss. Cool. Let's try the uh, sanctuary map then. Okay, so let's open up this. I've been working on a passive tree for tier 17 map specifically. I have some buffs to devoted modifiers and haunted modifiers. Dropping scouting reports, dropping scouting reports, gear act missions, explicit mods, and back, back to basics, which prevents most things appearing in the maps, just to make it as safe as possible for I still 60 points free, though. I don't know what the heck to put all those points into. Theoretically, I could just put a bunch of quant stuff on it. So I can't have extra content anyways. It's not like there's much else I could put here. Grab these two, three. Scarabs should be able to drop. But not extra content. Well, I might as well buff the scarabs then. Portal gateway. That connect. Nothing too important. 
Then we have Cryptic Gateway, which already over at us. That. Arab stuff, because I mean, why not? I have nothing else I could be doing. Favorite maps found in your maps, drop a space the items. Sure, let's give me more currency. I think what else I would want to add to this. the thing is I can't, all the extra content is disabled. Need to get into, I don't know, just whatever's left, basically. Okay. Arabs. Want to be modified by scarabs. A boss a chance to drop additional scarabs, sure. Scarab the less likely to be common. Okay. Effective explicit modifiers per 5% map quantity. For quality. Can I add quality to these maps? I think so. Oh, it already starts at 20. That might be dangerous. Any of these maps or any of these. Ambush, definitely. Cartography. Right? What is Scarab? Also, a chance to drop Scarabs per modifier affecting them. Okay. I might as well just buff Scarabs because I, I can't think of anything else that I would want to pick up, honestly. Thing is, everything else is disabled, really. I could maybe actually take one of the one or few of these nodes just to block certain types of scarabs. But what are not valuable type scarabs? I mean, none of the deliriums are valuable. None of the ultimatums are valuable. And none of the lights are valuable. Is the best way not. Some of the horror scarabs can be valuable. None of the others can. Chris effective explicit modifiers. Maybe that's a bad thing. It's actually kind of a dangerous thing for, for what we're doing. I'm going to decrease the effect of that <laughs> so that we aren't in danger. Get rid of breach and a bit. Breach and Expedition Scarabs. Legion Scarabs. It's Snag. I can Snag. And I'll block a bit. Thing is, I think the most valuable ones are Divination. Uh, Divination, Reliquary. Har ambush and Harvest, and Ritual. I'm leaving Ritual unblocked and Harvest unblocked, so that I can still get those scarabs. But even though none of this content can spawn the maps, I'm taking these specifically to block the scarabs that aren't valuable.
anything else that I want to pick up, maybe? And technically, I can add, like, more chances for map bosses to drop things, but defeating the map boss is already going to be hard enough. Like, I don't, I'm not, I don't really want to invest too much in that, seeing as I might just not complete the map due to failing. Why is this here? Take this, which is 1% extra Scarab. We have more Scarab with our Scarab. Scarab harder. Okay, Harbingers can't happen. Harvest can't happen. Essence can't happen. Okay, I think this is good then. I think this is an ideal tier 17 map thing for if you want to make it just as safe as possible. <laughs> Okay, so we're doing a tier 17 map. We're also going to grab some scarabs. Most important scarab is scarab stability, chance for your portal not to be consumed on you. Nothing is more important than that. Uh, what? All of those are duds. None of this stuff can speak. Actually, is there any other useful scarabs? Okay, Reliquary, Divination, and these ones at the bottom are the only ones that will actually work. Divination Scarab Completion. These are about a div. Yeah, they're, they're expensive. Vision. I guess I can just add more divination cards, why not? Oh, I can only add two of these. Anything else I want to add? I'll do something. Slightly terrifying and have more magic pack size to the tier 17. <laughs> okay, none of this is. I think there's a single thing here that I can actually. Oh. Okay, want to then? Hard Beast Defiler. Wretched Defiler. That's probably mini Dodres, if I were to guess. A necromancer. Product Demon. Constructs, Chaos Caller, Pale Seraphim. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> okay, well, a lot of the stuff in these maps is, like, really, really fucking dangerous. So, my solution to that... ...is to just replace them. Gonna replace them with anything else because they will be less scary than what we are getting otherwise. Do not think for a second that these things will be more scary than what I'm replacing. Okay. Put ignite near the top, seeing as I can't be ignited. Uh, accuracy near the bottom, seeing as accuracy is very dangerous for me. I'll give these things chances to suppress. Bad for me. I think the Ember of Badat is actually more dangerous than the Tasing Miscreation, so I'm going to actually keep and hope that they're not... Okay, these ones use spells, so I'm going to swap this so that they can't use that then. 
Okay, let's let's try this. See how uh, our Tier 17 Sanctuary goes. And hopefully it won't be awful. And hopefully not replacing that thing, the miscreants, won't be a bad idea. Okay, Sanctuary. Oh, this is even using some of the Sanctum Owl set. Okay, so they have volatile cores, so I need to make sure that I'm moving if I kill anything. The other issue is that my build makes it really easy to not notice things like volatile cores. Scary. Okay, so there's friendly charges. Some monsters faster. Oh, debuffs, okay. Unique monsters is a random shrine effect. Okay, so just everything's scary is, is the answer. Everything is scary. Everything is scary. Less scary if you're a team. Scary. Don't kill. Yeah, I think replacing this with just, like, normal creatures from other maps was a safe choice. I think I saved myself some suffering. Those are the... They are, these are the ones I did not replace. Well, okay, those were the ones I didn't replace. Arab. I did boost my scarabs a lot. That doesn't surprise me. No, okay. What is that? Piercing screech. You take increased physical damage. That's I'm not. No way. Well, a scarab of select. I think that actually is valuable. Doesn't not showing is valuable, but I thought it was. But are basic ambush scarabs valuable? Showing up like they were valuable. Okay, what? Well, none of this is valuable. <laughs> I guess having more scarabs isn't a bad thing. I should actually check the Calgarans at some point and make sure that if that I use up all of the currency that I'm getting from them. Oh, I have my own volatile cores now. That's that's not going to be confusing at all. I kind of don't want that because that means that I might be lured into a full sense of security. Yeah, that one just scared me because I was like, "Oh no, there's one coming for me." No, it's that one's mine. I don't know which one's mine and which one isn't. Those aren't mine. That one is mine. Yeah, this def I definitely would do better not having a headhunter for 17. I think it's just it's just adding more visual clutter and confusion, and I don't need that in a map that is already scary. Okay, that's dangerous. 
Oh. Horn something. Horn scare of pandemonium. Oh god. I need, I need to actually pay attention. What am I doing? Don't get distracted by shinies. Bad cat. <laughs> Monster, monster packs in area of a 15% chance to be replaced by a random Atlas boss. Modifiers to the final boss will apply to these Atlas bosses. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yep, shiny things. Oh, that's actually a item level 84 quartz flask. That's exactly what I was looking for. I paid money for. Oh, well. At least I have an extra now, so if I roll something really, really nice... On that one, and I don't need it myself, I can sell it, and then I just roll the next one. That's the important thing. Man, this is so much chiller not dealing with the tier 17 mobs themselves. Like, the natural ones. Those ones are so much scarier. I even... I'm up against the sulfite things that I added. Map. I added sulfite gold this map. Nope. Debuff me. You need to be very careful that I'm not getting chased by a volatile core. Because I realized I finally went over my first tier 17 map that I did. And my first death was to a volatile core that I was not able to see because of the fact that my my pyroclast mines are the same color and they were covering the screen. That that video actually just went up today. Ooh, that was a cool sword attack. I want that as a skill. I have a core coming. Make sure to keep collecting corpses at regular intervals. Get the gravekeeper soon. I do have on this atlas. Doom's corpses to give me mana and health. Nice little defensive play. Just have to like meter out when you pick up your corpses. Down here and figure out whatever's here. Okay, there's the core. I was worried that a core is going to sneak up on me because I can't see what's going on. So I don't necessarily know that I'm killing a rare. One of the dangers of having a strong build is you can kill a rare without even knowing that you're killing one. And suddenly, like, oh, you're being chased by a volatile core. Surprise! Doesn't take damage. You do, though. Surprise! You're fucked! <laughs> no. I mean, you just have to be... If you see it, you can counterplay it fairly easily. If you see it and have the reaction time for it, you can counterplay it pretty easily. Otherwise, it can sneak up on you, and that's the danger. That's when it really, really is a problem is when the volatile core sneak up on you. Another one of the void. Oh right, I boosted uh I boosted divination cards. I forgot. Oh, I'm so excited. Every time I hit the uh potion button, I'm hearing my screenshot key go and I'm really hoping I get some cool action shots out of this. App. 
I think this is the boss room over here. Probably clear the rest of the map. Though. Before I go and fight Lycia. Oh. 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 My, my, my inventory is very full. Not notice that. Okay, the pandemonium. Scarabs are about 16. I want to play with that. Actually, I'm going to use that one. Moon touched from the fire soundtrack. I should just play through each of the super giant games in order. Super giant games games. Bastion, then Transistor, then Pyre, and then get back to Hades. I've already played Hades once on this channel. Nice. How many boys? That. Crafting section. You are useless. I'll leave my wisdom seat. I don't have an omen on me. If I go back, the next time I die, assuming I die, I will get an omen of death dancing. No, omen of death door. That's the one I have. So I think death dancing might be better. Playing, like, super, super carefully, just because I've had so many disastrous experiences with these maps now. Also, I'm used to the mobs being a little bit more dangerous than this, being that I'm used to the Tier 17 mobs, not the normal mobs on in a Tier 17 map. Anything else to do, or is it boss, boss time? Okay, still on my first portal, which is good. No. No? No, because I went back once. Okay. I don't know if it's used up portal, though, because I have a 50-50 chance of not using a portal each time, so on average, I have 12 portals to use. And I've used two. So I should have another 10 portals left. Apparently. So I think I got like 25 last time, so. <laughs> okay. Boss fight time. Okay, I'm not as familiar with Lycia, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> oh, it's the scary w version. It's like the... Oh no, she has a she has a diamond shrine on her. So she has 100% crit chance. What was that? Oh, what that was. Shit, I forgot to get my omen. Next time. No, I shouldn't have done that. Omen. 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 Get the omen. Okay. 
Shade Worm gives me a 100% or gives me physical immunity as long as I have it. And also it gives me stealth. No, 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 no! I don't know what that is! Whatever it is, it sucks! Oh no, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. Who is this? Hello? Who is that? Who the fuck is that? That's that's Bajat. The toilet man. Oh, it's Bidet. Uh okay, so we have Lycia from Sanctum, and we have uh, Bidat from Beyond, which means we're probably gonna see Katash and Thor as well. Okay, and I can't have more than one omen, so we're done. Can't portals. Very. I can't even see what's going on, I'll be honest. Uh, we're using up portals very fast. Maybe I should stay in the corner. Ow. But that doesn't seem as dangerous as the others. Oh my god. I'm getting super unlucky with the with the scarab. I keep losing my fit my coin flips. I need to remember to not just, like, face tank him and to actually, like, avoid his attacks. Okay, but that's down. Ow! Fuck you, Lycia! Please, 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 please. No! Damn it! I got really lucky with my, uh, portals la last tier 17. Nope, not this time. Okay, well, that's done. <laughs> That's a super frustrating ending. Oh well. Let's go do something easy like the Chimera. Give myself some strong boxes. And some hunted traders. Sure. Okay, oops, I'll let, nope. Not my main this. And I need the Chimera and the Minotaur to do the form. Okay, well, I'm on my main tree, so I'd be better going domination. Fine. Thirty. Carabs will not. Actually, rarity might help with the Redeemer stuff. That out. Timeless Splinters, sure. Got some gems. More gems. I'm trying to use up my embers because I have so many currently in the bank that are not being used.
And I'm my locker's full. Ooh, a Parandus. I like Parandus. Eh. Parandus corpses are quite valuable. Oh, an Arcali's Fang. That is also quite valuable. Oh, and a Heavy Strike. That's absolutely not valuable in any way in any league at any time. <laughs> Twenty percent heavy strike might be valuable at like level three, maybe. Even then, I probably wouldn't use it. Probably just use whatever I'm intending to use to build. Oh, I it ambushed me back into that explosion. That's not good. Okay, if I do... Oh, I'm not doing the laboratory, apparently. If I do the laboratory, at least ambush won't be as dangerous. Okay. Might actually help me. It'll help me move to the laboratory faster. I think this is a very linear path. Makes it a lot easier. Where am I? I'm in the final room now. Thank you, I guess, ambush? Or you need to stay there. Honest, you are relatively, relatively used there. Have a conversation. Wait, that's good. That's backwards. Oh, I need to do some safe houses. Whoa. Random Conqueror influence, that looks good. That's probably one of the very valuable things. Grave crafts. That Shaper Orb was blue. I think that was a, a Magic Tear Shaper Orb. Which is si a silly concept. Things are just orbs, but technically they are monsters. Even though they're just projectiles. Because they And they summon monsters. Makes them all the weirder. I guess because they're technically monsters, they might be able to be magic. Like, I noticed, like, one or two of them are blue instead of being the normal white color. Like, that one is just a normal white color right there. I think the other ones come out of strong boxes specifically as, like, the magic mob in the strong box. And since they're considered, like, common monsters in the map... They're considered con monsters in the map, that's why they spawn in the strong boxes. I can see another one. In this. Oh, that's just a normal one. Even if they're like a magic or a rare one, I don't know if it would even matter. Like, I don't know what sort of effect it would have. I would assume it wouldn't have any effect.
flooding my glass bridge. Suffix and light. Oh god, I shouldn't stand in that. Oh, did I? Do I have Soul Eater? Is that why I'm engorged? Or is that just for fun? Is that just for fun engorgement? Oh, Corel! Give me some helmets. They sell well. Paint me a helmet, Corel. Ah, the spider barrel. That definitely only stores sensible things and not swarms of things. Oh! Oh, that's, um... Advancing Fortress? No, not Advancing Fortress. Reckless Defense? Oh, I don't have... Right, I don't have any Portal Scrolls on me because I dropped them for the... Uh, for the other map. Or Wisdoms. Reckless Defense, okay. It's how... Oh wow, that is like the worst roll you could get, basically. Not the worst roll, but like it's very darn close. That is the maximum chance for hits against you to be criticals. I don't think anyone wants that. Oh, that gemling was just hanging out. Chilling. Gravitius removes from... Oh no, Gravitius is discards. I can... I can tell Jorgen to fuck off, maybe. Yeah, Jorgen is the talisman man. He can fuck off. Oh, I should have actually interrogated him. That would have been smart. Oh well. I need to remember to like take a glance at the uh, at the screenshots after the map and or not after the map like at the end of the stream and see if our ocean screenshot macro has actually given us any interesting screenshots. One of the few types of legit macros for the game. For anyone who doesn't know, there are actually macros you're allowed to use in the game. Okay, look. One of these balls is blue and one is white. I think that is a magic version of the monster because they are technically considered monsters, which is a very weird concept. And it doesn't seem to have any actual effect on the ball itself because when it pops... Pop that one, separate of this one. Blue monsters pop out of it like normal. Versus the other one, which blue monsters pop out of like normal. So they're... Just the same thing. And I, I think it's just like it's supposed to make it stronger if it was part of the pack. But it's not part of the pack because it's just a projectile. I think it's just like a really weird interaction. Kind of cool though. Oh. Oh. Ambush. Right. I have to be teleported around everywhere. Oh, I'm at the boss fight. Okay, so that, that's not a problem then. Well, okay, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, well, I guess... Oh, is that actually... Is Ambush actually going to be useful for this? No. No, because they're not coming close enough. 
teleport me. Now it's just really annoying. You can tell I've done this fight a lot because my brain, my, like, eyes kind of blur and my brain kind of shuts off as I'm just, like, running in circles. Oh no, he's hidden in his smoke clouds. Where could he be? Oh, there he is. Goodbye. Snakes now. Here, ring your snake. Your 20 snake. How many penises? Do okay, maybe that's not the right way to start any sentence. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's not the right way to start any sentence. Um, but how many penises do you need to have before you stop being just like a normal creature and you start being like a legit tentacle monster? Because I feel like you have like 20 penises. You're probably a tentacle monster at that point. Or do they have to be, like, a specific length to be a tentacle? What? What determines what is a tentacle? These are the questions that keep me up at night. How much of these work? 40C! Ooh, that's nice. And the Prendus ones are worth 20C. Nice. Wow, that's 60C between the two of them, plus the Chimera Fragment, which is 10, and the Arcali's Fang, which is probably 20? Play in the league now. Or, or maybe less, I mean. Fifteen. Pearl? Be honest. I need a Minotaur now. I have a whole shit. Whole shit? The whole set for the shaper. The whole set for the saper. Minitar. Minitar! That's what you call a small minotaur. Uh, minotaur. A minotaur. This looks like a price fixer. That definitely looks like a price fixer. What is this one? I don't think this one is, though. I think I've traded with this one before. There's actually like people sprinkled in amongst in amongst the who I assume are price fixers. Okay, I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna finish this up, and then we are going to do our fight. I'm going to finish up doing trades, and we're going to have an intermission, then we will do our 
Minotaur fight, and then we are going to do our first Invitation of the League, The Formed. Or at least our first uh, non, uh, non-Maven's non Invitation. Okay. I will see y'all all in a few moments. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, everyone. Hi, Tired. I'm Cat. Okay. Minotaur time. How did I go in? Sounds so much less scary than literally everything we have faced so far. I experienced Goatman. All normals. There. Attacking cast speed on the Bissell things might be kind of dangerous, but... Oh, fine. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly? Can I use three embers for map? I seem to have a net neutral or a net negative. So that's helping me catch up. Ah. Ah, I hate ambush so much. Stop teleporting me! Okay, I don't know where I am. Let's deal with this before it becomes a problem. Please. Please, let me go back. I need to go back. <laughs> Another sign. Oh my gosh. I've formed a lot of things. Bear trapped. Rude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it reviving things every time is terrifying. Did something pull me? That was. Ooh, scout? Artifact. Artifact, the 
PoE version of Markiplier. That's worth like 30C though. That's really nice. What? Stop pulling me! What is pulling me? It must it must be the Esh mobs that are doing it. I don't know what else could be doing it. I don't know why I'm even picking up contracts anymore. I don't even I don't even do heist this league. I'm only doing heist for the sake of Huck. Having him for my maps, and he's already doing pretty good as is. Nope. I don't like this. Oh my god! So many apparitions! Stop it! I would love to get up to, like, 5,000 health. That'd be so nice. Tide shift. Say I'd like to get up to 5,000 life while well, my headhunter's given me 5,000 life. Oh. Two Ash Ember. I guess we're going net neutral on this map. Which again, isn't a bad thing. I just... I was trying to get it down to only having Embers in my locker. Oh, no, we're getting more from this map. <laughs> God, why must I play this game so well? It's so annoying. No, okay. <laughs> uh. Oh, that was a second uh, Sallow Scout. Oh, that's 60C total then. This is turning into quite a nice map. Sixty C, four embers, and soon to be a shaper fragment. things around the strong box if I can as much as I can because if it's a resurrection strong box it's better embers you need to be a bit more specific than that Hello, my friend. Time to smack you. And dead. Oh, uh, Embers of the All Flame. They're, uh... Basically, they allow you to change the type of creature that you're fighting in the map, like, specific types. Like, if you're going to get a bunch of goats, you can specifically swap out goats for something else. It's part of this, this league's mechanic.
Not to be confused with the embers from the Searing Exarch. Well, I can have a chance to roll another diamond flask if I want it. Okay, so we have a lot of safe houses to do, but in the meantime... Bring an omen of death dancing. Death door. Yeah. We're going to do the form. My fire resistance will go down a little bit, but that's fine. Okay. Now. Now it is time for the form. Kitties are great. True. See how the form to go. We have Minotaur, Northwest, Phoenix, Northeast, Hydra, Southeast, and Chimera, Southwest. And we're opening Phoenix and Minotaur first. For the Phoenix. Phoenix is more dangerous so long as I keep an eye on where the Minotaur is. Minotaur is only dangerous if he can sneak up on me. Okay. They're both down. Hydra's come up. Hydra is also fairly dangerous unless you have Chaos Ray. Then they're not so dangerous. Gold Res also helps. Amara is the least dangerous of them all. I see four. Oh, we got a Hydra, a Chimera, five Crescent Splinters, and... The Line Belt. That should be decent. Yeah. Okay, how much are the Crescent Splinters that... About 13 C a piece. So this netted us at least 70 C total. I'll probably end up just keeping it the Crescent Splinters to do Also, weird thought, can you can you convert tattoos three of a time? Uh, yes you can. Oh, yeah, okay. They need to be three of the same tattoo though. One. I don't think they need to be the same. Can 
can just get anything. I didn't know that you could put them together like this. So. Pretty cool. Gamble some tattoos. Regen, regen. Also, oh, wait, my gosh. Spell suppressions with 40. Max energy shields with 3. Basic regen is worth. Okay. Mana regenerate is not worth it. Cool bangles to gamble though. Oh, there's another one. That's just knockback. Oh, that's another one. <laughs> this actually oh, that's just more knockback. <laughs> I wonder if it's actually worthwhile to to buy like really shitty tattoos and put them together to try to get better ones. That's worth 40. Some tattoos are worth a lot, too. Okay. Interesting. I want to keep that in the back of my head. It might be worth it gambling tattoos. Especially seeing as they're so calm in this. Also, we didn't die even once to the formed. That was really good. Oh, I have so many safe houses, right? Uh, do I have... I might need another enlightenment support, actually. So that I have some... Because we're working with Tora. And she can give gem experience things. Uncorrupted one. Uncorrupted enlightened. Person's name is Nick Crissy. I love that. That is so silly. This is all point six. This is Pale Watchers by Darren Korb. It is from the Bastion soundtrack. Super giant game. One of the best indie games of all time, in my opinion. Based on sound design, storytelling, and graphics. You can probably assume, you probably tell that I like Bastion too. <laughs> I actually have a, uh, they put, released a t-shirt for, uh, the 10th anniversary of Bastion. And I have that in my, it's one of my favorites to wear. Have to wait, Annabelle. Oh my gosh, manager is telling me that we need to take another intermission, but we don't, and we're not going to. We might actually have a Katarina in a moment.
Which would be silly because we're at zero percent progress right now. Okay, that will give me eight. Really need to get uh, Verici in that I can get. Wait, why didn't. Why wasn't that Torah? I really need to get Verici into research so I can get Harvest Scarabs. Why was that not Torah? That's. Okay, because I was in not the, that. That's not where I was. Okay. That explains why it was not Torah. Okay, next. This time it is Torah. Yeah, well, there's a good chance we'll actually be ready to at Arena soon, because we're going to get... We just did... Uh, Guff is going to give us 48 research, or 48 uh, information over return. We am going to get 48 more from Aura, and then I'm going to get 12 from the Mystery. That is 110, and we only need 100. So we might get another Veiled Orb today. <laughs> Making the rich even richer. Oh my gosh. Someone might need to go inside. Keep in her bed. Cranky. She's very well taken care of. She's. I don't know what she's doing. One second. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That's not how we do this. Okay. Cranky Cranky Pug has been given dust boot. You'll probably fall asleep in the next ninety seconds. <laughs> Oh, I thank you all for coming to the stream today. Remember to follow the channel if you're enjoying the content, and subscribe to the YouTube uh, channel at Black Hat Streams for the VODs and at Black Hat Studio for the highlights. Extra people. Okay. Almost done this one, then we can do our last safe house. And cut. I didn't intend to do Katarina today, actually. Kind of just got there. I mean, you all have seen me fight Katarina a fair few times now. <laughs> Especially seeing as she's such... 
a wonderful money maker. And the best sugar mommy a girl could ask for. Wow, there's five of them. Need to make sure not to interrogate any next map. Because if I do, I will erase one of the, I will kick one of the ones who I'm interrogating out, and I will get I won't get enough mastermind experience. I'll have to do another safe house. Uh oh, shuttering fossils. Okay, two hundred million. That I need two hundred nineteen for this. Plus a hundred percent. Would that make it three hundred? I mean, might as well just finish this one off. Go. Okay, quick gamble for everyone. Will we get a level 4 Enlighten and bring this Enlighten from 2.5 div all the way up to 14 div? Or will we drop it down to 14 Chaos? Let's just see whether today we are lucky. Yes! <laughs> Okay, 13 div. Still, yes! <laughs> That's... I... I have a 50% record now. Or no. I think it's 2 out of 5 now. Yeah, I'm really surprised that worked. I didn't think that would work since I've already gotten one so far this league. The last stream. That was really, really lucky. Oh my gosh. Well, shit. Also, last... Last stream, we got a Malachi's... Uh... Called the Malachi's Loop, the shield... And we happen to get 8% uh, of chaos damage as physical damage. Or no, 8% of physical damage as chaos damage, uh, which is used to uh, convert physical damage into uh, nothing by being a chaos inoculation build. And since it was max rolled, it actually sold for 7 div, which is why I have as much money as I do right now. Or it's a portion of the reason. What's that shuddering fossil, anyway? Nine C apiece. That's pretty good. Drums are not as worth. Okay, last one. Man, we have so many people here. That's really nice. Nice to see you all. As of. Appreciate you all taking time out of your day to be here.
half tempted to like go buy a mage blood. I think I have to decide though first whether it's actually the ideal pick for me or not. Where I spend 90 div on it. To make sure that it doesn't run me out of attribute. Um, that's currently a possibility. Because it might drop my strength too far. I mean, there are ways and means to deal with that, but... Hello, Haku. Bye, Haku. Hello, Bar. Hi, Isling. Hi, Isling. Okay, right, and there we go. So these three together have enough. Give me a mastermind now. Oh, that's probably Jorgen. That's why it gave me nothing. Actually, no, that was probably Islings. That was probably just Veil equipment. I don't need. Well, that was a pretty shitty reward. Oh, well. I mean, I got XP for it. Got gem XP as well. Okay, so we need to run one map with June in it. Good. Ooh, what do we feel like running? Castle Ruins is easy. Oh boy. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna make these uh, against my better judgment. I'm gonna make these guys faster. Give me a magistrate haunted. Turn these guys into rares. Instillings or. That one has that I put on Quan. Okay, pack I need a pack leader now. Be rare. Pack monster drop or influence. Sure. Templar and Wild Wedding. So we have one map here. We're gonna do June. Pick the board three times. And then we will have egg. Uh, and then we will have our arena. That's enough explosion. We pull it on the explosions, maybe. Thought I'd say that. Okay, good. We do actually have June here. That is ideal.
Otherwise, it'd be kind of sad. Arm up some rare modifier. Don't have okay. Don't have a Chimera. Riker, the non. Giannis, oh Giannis, Calgarian currency. What it's doing and fuck off. That's one tick. Oh, an intervention. Two ticks. Well, okay, technically the board doesn't tick until I until I actually Oh no, the board is already ticked. Okay, I thought I had to question the members first. Like Gravitius where you lock. No, I don't really want to do that. I guess I'll release Hillock. Oh, yeah. Set all the prisoners free. Okay, there's our Katarina. Okay, now we can actually go back to imprisoning people. Is that a uh, yeah? I'm level eighty four. That. I'm gonna want if I'm gonna get a mage blood. I'm gonna need to change all my flasks out to uh, increased effect flasks. Seeing as that that increase that decreases the duration, but seeing as the mage blood always gives you the effect of the flasks, you don't need to worry about duration. You just need increased effect on everything, much as you can manage. Thank you, Bear Graves. That delicious, delicious. Yeah. You dropped me four chaos orb. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, I'm gonna eat the last corpse. Gravekeeper's bone. Nom nom nom. That probably wasn't a huge. What happened to the... Oh, the abyss is down here. I was wondering what happened. Ah. The level 4 Enlightened is already selling. I want to get this stupid abyss back here. Oh my gosh, all the skill effects on the, stre on the screen are just like fucking destroying my frame rate. Complete abyss with four pits. Oh, nice. Oh, I got depths! I got abyssal depths! Nice! Oh, we get to fight the, uh, the boss. Urn. Earth urn. I don't remember his name. Why is there a turtle? Go away, turtle. Oh, that person didn't want to wait 30 seconds. Plus.
Oh. Castle ruins completion. This one. Oh. Oh, I guess this fight was Maven witnessed. I didn't notice. <laughs> Well, this is a Diviner Strongbox. That gave us fuck all. That was actually kind of sad. Oh my gosh, the flowers. The fucking flowers from... The Wildwood cultists are just destroying my frame rate. They're stupid flowers and they're stupid toad cannons. There is only one type of fork that is good. It is mine. My fork is the best fork. You can fork the hell off. Oh, Syndicate Researcher. Great of a Million Ring requires at least one other corpse of the same name. That is one of the worst mechanics I have encountered in this. requiring a monster of the same name because there is no way to search it on the trade site or at least none that i've been able to find i've looked for it no way to search the type of monster specifically so you just have to go through the list and it only shows you so much of the list before it just stops showing you stuff yes please Displacement. It also means that this is worth nothing because of that. I need to go buy some more enlightened for farming Torah. It's annoying to go buy them all one, like buy them one at a time when I'm needing them. There are so many strong boxes in this map. I get, like, super lucky and get a ton of them for some reason. I don't think I gave... I don't think I set up a strong box thing. Like, with... I need 11 additional strong... Bo oh, I must, I must have done something. I must have a strong box scarab on here. Go stream of monsters again. I hope this next one revives nearby monsters. That would be amazing. No, but it is another stream of monsters. Oh, and again. Here, Jorgen. I didn't see Jorgen. That's right. I don't know why, but I knew it would be him. Oh, revive nearby monsters. Ah, uh, we only got to do it once. There, are, I'll take the double casting thing. Totally useful to me. Useful to me. Not useful to me in any way. Oh. Acceleration Shrine! Yay! Love double shrine effects. Amazing. 
Eh. Eh. Let me grab things. Yum. Oh, wow. Some Ooh, lightning scarcer. That's pretty good. Herald buffs. How much are the Herald buff? Scout ones, which I have been using, are not worth anything either. Okay. Got an omen of brilliance. Oh, when you level up, gain increased XP. That's really good for XP farming, and it is worth nothing. Okay, never mind. Those were worth like six div plus league or league before. I don't know. They were they were worth like six div at some point. Not during their ad, they're actually after. Ulamon. I think the Abyss boss's name is Ulamon. My brain keeps going Uma Thurman, and that's not right, because it's the name of A, a person, and B, a Fall Out Boy song, named after said person. That's definitely not right. <laughs> also way too normal of a name for a boss of the Abyss. Okay. I'm on I'm on I'm on a move. I'm on a move the liege of the Le liege of the lightless. Okay. I should like actually take him seriously. Fight him. Well, okay, maybe I shouldn't take him seriously. I seriously doesn't seem to be warranted here. But I should at least pay attention to him. Or like a small amount of Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, no, you made your point. You made your point. I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention. What head? What face? Ow! Oh, my death door saved me. Nice. That is why we carry those with us. Most of the time they're useless, and they just get consumed and then you die immediately after. But sometimes they actually save you, like in that scenario where I would have died very senselessly. And goodbye. Pet gauntlets, only one. Yeah. Wait, that's different. Eliminate for four seconds on attacks. Melee hits have a twenty-five percent chance to fortify. That's different than it was before. It was chance to intimidate or chance to unnerve, depending on the the jewel you had. That's new. Is this? Oh, it's a variant. Oh, I like that. That I actually would heavily consider running in certain builds. 
because that would give you Fortify and Intimidate and another slot and another Abyss slot. Pretty sexy. I think I'm going to use an Omen of Amelioration now that I'm starting to get XP. Just because of how hard it is to level up. Wait, no, I should keep those. Lightning Mons of Skr? I guess I'll just hold on to that myself. Okay, caddy time. Kitty and caddy time. Have you seen it in many of the new variants, C4? I'm just wondering if there's anything else interesting. I assume they probably split it and now there's like a spell version and a attack version. You know, if I actually, like, am careful and try to not die, I could actually level up again naturally. Though I could just spend my money on XP service. That might not be such a... Oh, okay. Have they changed or added any other Abyss uniques this league? Or last league? Maybe that was last league, I don't know. Sometimes I'm late to the party. fair. Was it you who was telling me that Abyss is pretty good for XP? And Einstein first. Oh, I almost got hit with that. <laughs> okay, let's be careful now. Not to get hit by anything, Chris. Oh, shit. That's not what I want. Okay, well, at least I can get rid of all these. Well, the most important thing is to get rid of these. Thing is, once they're once they're active, they are invulnerable. Yeah, that's fair. I I wouldn't really think of it for that, especially considering that it's some of its creatures can be really dangerous, which would make it kind of scary to use for XP specifically.
Hershey. God damn it, stop doing that. Nope! Ah! Uh... No. No, 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 no! That almost went badly. Katarina, you're, you're down, aren't you? Oh, you're not. Definitely not. Okay, now you're down. Please just call Gravitius. Kill you, Gravitius, and your that. Okay. Last one. And now we fight. Deeth. Right to the deeth. Yeah. Okay, say it with me. Failed chaos, failed chaos, failed chaos. <laughs> failed chaos, failed chaos, failed chaos, failed chaos, come on! Come on! Come on! Damn it. <laughs> I've gotten more than I deserve this league, so I, I'm not mad. But, oh my gosh. Uh, the flask has has one of you can unveil three of or you can unveil one of three of five unique flask modifiers that you cannot find in any other spot via using it. Uh, if you don't, if you don't unveil it or unident or identify it, you can sell it for more. I, th I think it's worth more uh, unidentified. It is identified, even if it's unveiled. Or even if it's veiled, I mean. Oh, XP. Four hundred mil. Thor is coming through for us. Okay, I do like Painful Way, which is the song, but he's saying a little bit calmer. Oh my god! <laughs> a full stack of the Sephiroth! Okay. Okay, now I very much am not upset that I didn't get a failed Chaos Orb. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, the game is spoiling me today. I got I got a, the 13 div corruption on the enlighten and 10 div here and I don't know what else has happened this today. Now let's pick that up before something happens to the fucking server or something and it gets deleted. Oh my gosh. Sephiroth of all things, that is... There are very, very, very few sets of cards that are worth more than the Sephiroth. Even a set of the Doctor is not worth as much. This I don't think. Yeah, even a set of the Doctor isn't worth that much. 
I think this is the best divine or I think House of Mirrors would be besides like House of Mirrors. I don't think there would be any others that I mean there're probably something, but I don't think there's very many others that'd be worth anything by comparison. That's one of the best drops you could get. That is a stark departure from getting a stack of her mask again. Oh yeah, seven years bad luck. I forgot about that one. That gives multiple mirror shards, right? I think that's that's that would be even better than Wait. I don't remember. I think I think House of Mirrors is one mirror shard, and then uh, Seven Years of Bad Luck is 19. Oh, Unrequited Love is 19. Okay. Oh, Profound Depth. Monsters from Abyss and Area have increased difficulty and reward for each pit prior to that abyss. That sounds awesome. I You were. What? What do you mean to chaos? Oh, whatever. Don't want to play with it. Oh, House of Mirrors is just an actual full mirror. Okay. Um. I think the green splinters be worth that they are still not really worth anything, but it's something. Well, that was one hell of a way to end off the stream. And here we are. Sephiroth. Oh, that that was a that was even a challenge that I got. Oh my gosh, I'm being fucking spoiled. Oh my gosh, that is so good. It is so good. Find destiny. Complete a tier sixteen or higher map with the divination scare apply. That's it. Oh, that's really easy. Yeah, I keep seeing you on, but it keeps being at times where I'm doing things. Keep me to stop by, though. Yeah, I I work at very strange times. Like it changes a lot, so really it makes it hard sometimes to catch streams. Okay, and then the Cinder Swallow is four, 14 hundred and five.
Do you have a stream schedule? Or just a whenever kind of thing? Fair enough. <laughs> That's fair. You mean like streaming regularly or having a long stream? That's fair. Yeah, it definitely gets harder to time. The thing is, I've started... Uh, one of the ways that I maintain my uh, PoE drive is that I have other games that I'm playing in my off time as well. So I bounce between the different games, and sometimes I will even avoid playing Path of Exile intentionally for a few days just to make sure that I have the most interest in it when I'm on stream specifically. Specifically for streaming, I've like had to do a bunch of like very conscious stuff to prevent burnout. It's and that's the same with all games, not just It's definitely something that's hard to find a happy medium for. You have to figure out what works well for you. Everyone, everyone's brain works different. Yeah, it's, it's always awkward when it comes to stuff like that. Like, you don't want to play with randoms, because oftentimes they will make your video just either worse or unmonetizable entirely. That's fair. Yeah, it it can be hard. Like, I definitely go into focus mode sometimes when I'm playing Path, and I'm like, wait, I'm just zoning out thinking of things. It'll just things, lots of, thoughts are just floating around in my head. I'm like, wait, I haven't said anything for a little while, have I? <laughs> like, oops. 
เออเอ่อใน a ี้เอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเ